Hi guys, it's me, how are all of you? Welcome back to my channel, I hope you're well. So today, I just decided to vlog. Um, I just put on my makeup and I'm gonna go to the mall with my mom. We're gonna have lunch and then she's gonna go grocery shopping. So I thought, you know what? We could just vlog. Um, but before that, I actually wanted to share with you guys some of my favorites of 2017. I've been watching several videos of um, best of 2017. I thought, you know what? I do have some good things that stood out from last year, makeup-wise. And I thought, you know what? Let me just share them because some of them are new. And others are actually rediscoveries of old, old favorites. So I thought, well, let's just let's just share and actually let me know if you want to see a favorites fashion of 2017. I think that will be really, really good. Anyway, let's start with the makeup. So makeup wise, I I didn't pick a lot, just like some key pieces. So the first thing I actually wanted to talk to you guys about is this product from Bobbi Brown. So how exciting can it be to talk about? A makeup base. Well, trust me, this product for me has been groundbreaking last year. I bought it when I went on holiday to Malaysia because it was all the rave. It was very, very hyped on YouTube. So I obviously wanted to try it. Um, I bought it in the spring and I actually didn't use it in the summertime because I thought that it might be a bit too heavy because it is an enriched face cream. So it is, it's kind of rich in texture. So I started to use it in, from September onwards. And so even if I didn't use it throughout the whole year, still I have to include this in my 2000, 2017 favorites. Products that stood out last year for sure a lot. And let me show you how much I used. I'm not sure if you can see it properly, but I've used a lot. I want to say at least one third of the pot is gone and I've been enjoying it so much I don't know why I don't know what it is it's such a pleasure to use it's uh, very comforting when I put it on my skin it's a great base my makeup lasts the whole day it obviously depends on the foundation you're wearing okay I'm not gonna say that this will actually change the performance of your foundation but my skin reacted very good to it um, it doesn't mess up my foundations because sometimes primers can do that. They sabotage your whole look and you just look terrible by midday. Whereas this one doesn't really, it's, it's so comfortable, especially now that it's in the, now in the winter time, I feel that my skin needs that little extra TLC and this definitely helps. I have combination oily skin and this works great. No problems whatsoever. And yeah, so I, I'm so glad I gave this product a shot because it ended up working really, really good. And speaking of foundation, I cannot not talk about the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. Yes, I bought this towards the end of the year, but I've been using this product every day. Every day when I put on makeup at least, and uh, which is almost every day of the week, I mean, honestly speaking. And uh, this is fantastic. It's a great match to my skin, as you can see, to my skin color. As you can see, I don't think there's that much of a difference with my neck. I don't think there is any difference at all, actually. And, and my color, just for reference, is custard. It's great. It's just so great. If you like me, you are someone that loves full coverage foundation. You want you're, you want to look good, okay? You're definitely not the au natural makeup kind of girl. I'm definitely not that. My, I can't afford to be because I do need that good base on my skin. And um, so I've been using this so, so much. I love it. Covers everything, lasts all day. It's very comfortable. Doesn't dry out my skin. It's, it's oil free. So it works with my combination oily skin. It's just amazing. Sometimes in the when I apply this uh, foundation, I don't even put concealer in my under eyes, especially if I'm in a rush. That's how good it is. That's how much it covers. But don't be fooled by the fact that, oh my God, it must be very heavy because it, because it covers a lot. It's not heavy at all. I mean, not for me. So I really, really love it. I mean, every time I put this foundation, I look at myself in a mirror, I'm like, oh, I look so good. 
And then to set everything in place, this is actually also another product that I bought in Malaysia last year and I started using it immediately actually. It is a setting powder. And also, just like the base, how exciting can it be to be talking about a setting powder? Well, I am thrilled about this setting powder, let me just tell you that. Um, there is something about it. I have tried so many setting powders and they are like, oh, yeah, okay, nothing groundbreaking, it's a setting powder. But this, when I tried this on for the first time, I was like, whoa, there is a difference. I could see a difference in how my makeup looks. It really makes a difference. It's called Perfect Setting Powder. And it's true, it is a perfect setting powder because when you put, when you set your makeup, you can see a difference. And I am almost running out. Not sure if you can see, it's almost empty. So I will need to have to buy some more online because unfortunately, Cover FX is not a brand that I have available here when I live. But I will repurchase this because it is that good. And then for eyeliner, this has been my most favorite combination. Actually, I don't even want to say most favorite combination. This has been the only combination. When I apply eyeliner, both on my upper lid and lower waterline, I just go straight to this. I have a little drawer full of pencils and liquid eyeliners. Don't use them. I just use these two and I'm done. The first one is the Marc Jacobs um, Highliner Gel Eye Crayon. It's the twist up one in the color blacker. Absolutely love this pencil. It's actually a gel crayon as the word says. As you can see, this is what it looks like. And I love the fact that you don't have to sharpen it because I hate sharpening pencils. And um, it's a gel formulation, which means that this stuff stays. It's very easy to, you know, drag on your water, under waterline, lower waterline. And once it's there, it does not move, it does not budge, it does not bleed, especially. So it's a great one. In fact, I have a backup of this. This is how much I love it. Another favorite of 2017 is actually this liquid ink eyeliner waterproof by Essence. This eyeliner costs, I want to say two, three euros. Nothing, really, really nothing. And it is so good. I wish it came in a slightly longer tube because being this short, sometimes it's a bit difficult. Uh, nevertheless, it's a great, great product. I'm wearing it today. It's very, very black and it's waterproof, which for me is important because Sometimes my eyes just water, especially this one, and it is right now, which is why sometimes I have to check if everything's in place. <laughs> but it's so good. And every time I wear this eyeliner, I think, oh my God, it's mind blowing. For like two, three euros, I have the best eyeliner ever. So please, please, if you come by a Essence stand, just give, just give this a try because it's worth it. It's really, really worth it. I love it. And then the last products I want to mention, which really stood out for me last year, these are actually a rediscovery. Um, I remember when these products were like all the rave, everybody loved them, everybody were buying them, and then all of a sudden people just stopped talking about them. And I was like, what? Why? I still love them. I use them. I, I have several. What am I talking about? Let me just show you. I'm talking about the NARS lip pencils, the, the lip pencils. Yeah, I love them. Do you remember? When was it? I want to say three or maybe four years ago, the NARS launched these products. Everybody loved them. And um, as you can see, I bought several. I used them quite a bit. Then I stopped because obviously you want to try new things. Obviously new things come out and you forget about these. Then I remember a lot, I think it was last spring, uh, I just remembered I had these and I started using them again. And I thought, I love them. Why did I ever stop using them? So this is what they look like. I, as you can see, I love the reds. Reds, red lipstick for me was another big um, thing of 2017. I rediscovered the red lip and I just stick to it because it just looks nice. Um, and I have several lips, I have several red lipsticks, but the ones in the NARS lip 
but the ones in the NARS uh, Velvet Lip Pencil formula is just the best because they actually stay on for a long time. Now I'm wearing this one, You, also from NARS because I like the fact that the pink matches the pink from the sweater. But yeah, they're just so nice. They have it in matte, they have it in satin. Definitely the matte formulation is what I prefer the most. But um, it's not drying. They la the colour lasts a long, long time. So yes. This was a rediscovery of 2017 and if you have some of these, just get back into using them because you will love them. Okay guys, so these were my 2017 makeup favourites. Really nothing that much because I didn't want it to be super super long. These are just the items that stood out for me last year and that I love so much and uh, that I'm bringing into 2018. So, right, um, I have to go, or at least I almost have to go. And as you notice, I'm wearing the same Gucci sweater that I wore in my last, uh, what I wore for Christmas video, which, by the way, thank you so much for uh, watching and commenting, and uh, you guys love that video so much. Thank you. Um, but, yeah, it's a beautiful day, actually. We've been having some good weather. Actually, not so normal weather. For January, it's like 16, 17 degrees outside. It's it's hot. I mean, not hot, but hot for January. L last year, January, we were def we were like under the snow. It was bad last year, bad. So people are very confused with this weather. But a sweater like this is actually so cool because when in my previous video, I don't think I gave this sweater the importance it deserved. Uh, mainly because I was rushing, uh, because my battery was running out, as per usual. Anyway, this sweater is a cotton sweater, which, I mean, considering how much it costs from Gucci, you will think, oh, I'm paying that much for a cotton sweater. Well, it's definitely a thick kind of cotton, so you can wear it in the winter time, maybe with something underneath. Uh, but for days like this, in which it's not super cold, it's actually ideal. Anyway, I'm so in love with the brand. And um, if I could have everything Gucci at the moment, I totally would. I just love the brand. Anyway, guys, that's that. Uh, come with me to the mall. Ah, oh, actually, did I tell you? I am on a shopping bag. My friend Rebecca says I'm going to fail miserably in my shopping bag, but I am going to prove her wrong. And yeah, I bought a shopping bag. I'm actually filming like a video diary of my shopping bag. We'll see if I succeed. Anyway, um, yeah, I just want to tell you that I'm on a shopping bag. It won't be a long shopping bag, don't worry. Just a couple of months, you know, just, just a detox period. Uh, just like we do detox um, after Christmas because we ate so much. Well, I'm doing the same uh, in the shopping department, just, you know, <sighs> keeping it slow. Because in the, the month of December was really, really intense. And yeah, so uh, let's go to the mall, which actually is not the best for somebody that's on a shopping ban. Do you agree? But hey, we've got to do something. Can't just stay at home doing nothing. And yeah, so when you can't shop, the highlight of your day becomes food. You're like, at least I'm going out for lunch. I can eat something good. Ah, sad times. Hey guys, so I'm posting that picture on Instagram. This one to be precise. And I need your advice. Am I the only one when posting a picture on Instagram? I never know what to write. I always want to write something cool and original, you know, some sort of phrase, uh, some cool motto, but nothing ever comes to my mind. <sighs> what can I write? Grazie. Parmigiano già? Grazie. How can you have pasta without parmigiano? Grazie.
I always put a lot. Okay, so I posted the picture with not the most original of phrases, but hey, I'm so bad. I think this picture came out good. Fuori. Siamo arrivati un po' prima. Hi guys, it's me. I'm in Zara and the sale started today or yesterday, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, it's the it's delirious in here, like really it's such a mess. But I said no, I have to go into Zara because I need a I need a full length mirror because I have to do an outfit of the day. <laughs> anyway, this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing full Gucci, like really. If Alessandro Michele saw me, he'll be like, okay. Just come in one of our stores and you can model everything. <laughs> yeah, right, dream on. Anyway, I have my scarf over here because it's really hot in the mall. And it's the acne gray scarf that I got a few weeks ago. Love it. Anyway, I'm wearing my Zara, like, full teddy bear-ish jacket. Which, may I just say, if you're thinking of buying it, you might want to think twice because it's the type of fur that... Um, sticks to your clothes and to your jeans and to the car seat so it is a bit messy anyway besides that I love it I like it it's cute and then I'm wearing my Gucci sweater which I love Gucci bag that I love Topshop Jamie jeans and my Gucci again I know I know I'm telling you Gucci fur sneakers which have been my favorites ever since I got them. I've been loving them so much, wearing them so much. Loving, 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 loving. Okay, so I might have broken my shopping ban, but just a little bit because I saw this book and it's really, really interesting. I'll tell you what it's about later. But just the cover, look. Hi guys, I'm back. Jeez, it's been a long time since I last vlogged. Au oh, naturel. Anyway, um, I just wanted to end the vlog here. I hope you found it somewhat interesting. Not that I did anything groundbreaking. I have to say the highlight of the, of the day was definitely going to see Wanda. It was such a good movie. I was touched. I was moved. I identified myself with the character of the movie in some parts a lot. So that's why I feel, I feel that the movie really touched my heart, particularly. So definitely go and watch it. If you have kids, take them to go, take them to the movies and go watch the, the film. I feel it's, it's, a, it's a movie for all ages, so definitely. It, and it teaches you so, so much. So go and watch a movie. It's the movie. It's a good movie. And when we went to the bookstore, it's actually where I broke my shopping ban but just a little bit actually I don't even want to say I broke my shopping ban because when I say I'm on a shopping ban you all know what I'm talking about I'm talking big shopping luxury shopping okay the ones that you're used to see on this channel so buying a book is, is definitely doesn't qualify as uh, breaking the shopping ban anyway I was intrigued by the cover first of all just look at this cute cover and the title is Non... I don't even know the title. Non ho tempo per amarti, which is... It's obviously an Italian title, duh. It's an Italian book. And the translation is, I don't have time to love you. And I was like, whoa, okay. I just read the beginning of the like synopsis. And it's basically about this girl, from what I understand, who spends the majority of her time at home doing online shopping. I was like, wow. Okay, I have to get this book. So that's all I know. I, I have no clue what the story is, but uh, you know, I just bought it on a whim 
because it's nice and I mean a book is a book I'm sure it'll be good. I usually do not read in Italian. I usually read in English because I just it's just personal preference. I like reading in English but I have to say sometimes it's just nice to walk into a bookstore, touch the books and that's how you discover books like this. You know what I mean? It's, it's difficult that you can discover it online. I mean yeah sometimes you do but sometimes you really want to look at the book before buying it. So yeah and here in Italy, at least here where I live, the books in English are very very, I mean they don't have a huge selection at all. So that's why I buy all of my books on Amazon but as I said sometimes it's just nice to go to a bookstore without anything in mind. In fact this purchase was not planned and um, pick up a good book and it was actually cheap. It was seven, it was 10 euros and then when I went to pay there was some sort of discount because actually the sales are on currently right now and she said no it's 7.50. 7 euro 50. Nothing. Right so that's all for today. It was a great day. Had a good day and that's all that matters right? Right so that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're not, comment, thumbs up this video. I would be very very happy if you do that and until next time, bye bye!